When programming scenarios in Laridol's SimMan or SimBaby software, it may sometimes be necessary to trick the software in order to make the program run correctly. Here is one way of tricking SimMan or SimBaby software with the parameter limit function. Say you have a pediatric cardiac patient who is experiencing post-op jet or junctional ectopic tachycardia. The objectives of this case are to give 20 per kilo of amiodarone, perform hypothermic treatment, and decrease the inotropes that are currently being infused. Each intervention will bring the patient closer to recovery, but the patient will not fully recover until all interventions have been performed. If all interventions are not performed within 15 minutes, the patient will arrest. This could be a complicated scenario since the participants are going to probably give the amiodarone in 5 per kilogram doses. So how do we know when they've given four doses? We could pay close attention, count on our fingers, while also running the simulator, while simultaneously instructing the students, playing the voice of the doctor, the nurse, the respiratory therapist, taking notes for the debriefing, playing the part of the patient's parent, oh, and troubleshooting any technical glitches that may arise during the session. Or we could just let the software keep track of that small detail. If your vote is for the latter, then watch this video trick on how to trick your Laridol SimMan SimBaby software. First, you will create a handler to handle all of the vital changes and parameter limits. Within the handler, I will create a frame for the event, administer amiodarone 5 per kilogram. In the action or the patient response section, I will create the trend. Each 5 per kilogram dose should improve the patient a quarter of the way until the full 20 per kilogram has been given. Here is the tricky part. I'm going to add a small response in the respiratory rate. You can choose any parameter that the students will not be focusing on. An increase of one point should do the trick. Now, for every five per kilogram dose of amiodarone, the respiratory rate will increase by one point. That means that once the respiratory rate increases by four points, then the full 20 per kilogram dose has been given. Next, you need to set up your scenario editor to control the initial vitals and the scenario structure and flow, like so. Each of our primary objectives will move the patient's progress along slightly until all have been completed. They have 15 minutes to administer 20 per kilogram of amiodarone, decrease the inotropes, and perform hypothermic treatment. We need to create an event output that represents the full 20 per kilogram dose of amiodarone. Since the participants will most likely administer 5 per kilogram doses to observe the patient's response. Now instead of adding in four separate frames for the amiodarone dose, the simulator will automatically respond to the increased respiratory rate. If my initial respiratory rate equals 20, then the respiratory rate after four doses of amiodarone will be 24. Within my scenario flow, amiodarone 20 per kilograms equals respiratory rate greater than 23. Okay, so I want to copy over my event menu from the handler editor over to the scenario editor. So I'm just going to open my handler editor event menu, and all I need to do is click and drag over to the other one. That's all I need the handler for. We're done with that. Okay, I'm just going to hide these so we don't see the other extra events while we're running this scenario. Okay, I'm going to use those events to create the flow now. We have our three interventions, and then we'll have the patient time expiration event output. And we're going to put that in each frame so that no matter where they are when the time expires, 
our software will send them to the Time's Up frame. Okay, so I'm going to have this good path on the left side. I'm basically just creating three identical frames. Each will have all three interventions inside so that this is how we will pass through the scenario. So once they do the first intervention, we'll go to the second frame, pass through the next intervention, to the next frame, and then one more. We'll go to our final win frame. You can also copy and paste these frames pretty easily. I'm just going through the motions. So it makes more sense. Okay, connect this to the time's up. And I can rename this frame so that while running this scenario, the operator will know what's going on. Okay, that's about it. Just save it. And then always test your scenario. Thanks for watching.